up Sailor Sinji? My name is Sailor Snubs and today I do not have a mailbox unboxing for you. I'm actually going to show you how to order items off of the Qpot website. So first off there are a few caveats to the Qpot website before you go on there and decide to order the Sailor Moon collaboration designs. You should probably know that it is in Japanese if you haven't figured that out already. It is a Japanese website therefore it's in the Japanese language. They also have an international version of their store however I am not sure if the Sailor Moon items are going to be available on the international version of that online store. So it's in your best interest to sign up for the Japanese version of the store as opposed to the international one. Also keep in mind if you are ordering items off the Japanese Qpop website you will need a Japanese address. So if you don't have a Japanese address already or somebody in Japan that you can just send stuff to then you probably want to sign up for a deputy service. There are a lot of deputy services available in Japan however the one that I decided to use is called Tenso. Tenso does take a small fee, but they do receive the items at their Japanese warehouse and then they will ship it to you, which makes the whole thing a lot easier. So once you have your address figured out, you can then go to the Qpot website and go ahead and start your online order. So let's go ahead and jump onto my handy dandy laptop here, which I have a bunch of stickers on so that I can show you exactly how to order items off the Qpot website. So when you go over to Qpot's website, it is qpot.jp and if you are in Chrome, you can have the option to translate your page. So if you do translate it, it will make your life a little bit easier. First thing I'm going to do is click on over to their online shop. And from here, I can go ahead and go up to this little key sign. And that's going to give me the option to either log in or to register. So if you want to log in, you can go ahead and log in here, like I can do right there. Or you can go ahead and sign up as a new membership registration. So you want to click on that new membership registration. First thing you're going to do here is type in your email address. So I'd, I'll just use an email address. There we go and hit enter. And then it will bring you to a page that says, okay, you've sent us your email address. Now go over to your email and click on the button in your email. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so when you click on the email, you will notice there's a link in that email. So click on that link in the email and hit enter and it should load up a new page. You can hit translate again. So this is the member registration page. So this is the important page. Uh, the first thing at the very top is going to be your name in regular English. So for me, that's going to be Shannon Morse or whatever your name is. Your name phonetic is going to be your name in Katakana. So however you spell it in Katakana is going to go there. If you have questions about how to translate your name in Katakana, Google your name in Katakana and then copy and paste the Japanese text right there and then put your last name here. So I'm just going to put my first name in both of the columns. Now here's where you your deputy service will come into play. This is where you're going to put all the information from your deputy service. So the first thing is going to be your telephone number, whatever that might be. Then the zip code, that's the postal code for your deputy service. I'm just typing in numbers here. Then you want to select your prefecture. So for example, the prefecture that mine is in is in Osaka prefecture. So I put in Osaka prefecture and normally with a deputy service, if you don't know what those kanji characters mean, you can just look at them and try to match them up word for word. So for example, this is Osaka. On the next line, you type in the city name and generally that's going to look somewhat like the prefecture if it's like Osaka. So that will go here. Next, you'll put in the address and building name, etc. Now it's important if you use a deputy service like Tenso, then at the very end, you will have some kind of Tenso identification um, identifier. So in my case, it would be like JT, Japan Tenso, and then a series of numbers. After that, you put in male or female. Uh, unfortunately, they do require that, which is kind of weird. Then you put in your birth date, whatever that might be, your occupation. Um, which one's Gakuse? I don't remember. Gopot Retail, I always put online shop just so they don't get confused and try to redirect me to the international online shop. So I just put online shop. Email magazine, if you wish to get an email magazine delivered and then you type in a new password for yourself. Okay, so here's the thing about the password. The password here is going to accept anything, any characters, as many as you want, doesn't matter. The problem is when you go to re-log into your Qpot account, it's only going to accept passwords of up to 10 characters. So when you create your password, make sure it's no more than 10 characters or else you're going to run into some confusion. So for example, mine is one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then tips for forgetting passwords. I don't know what this means. Something, something. Yeah, I can't read that. So I'm just gonna type in whatever and be like, and hey, doesn't matter. And then hit next. Okay, so once you've gotten through that part, uh, not now LastPass, you can go ahead and go on to the next part. And something that I wanted to mention about the password row. So when you type in your password here, a lot of times companies will not allow you to do more than 10 characters or more than eight characters. And the problem is they are most likely not hashing or not encrypting that password, which means when you type this in, make sure that it's a password that you're not using anywhere else, just in the event that QPOT somehow got hacked. Uh, it would be very unfortunate if they are saving passwords in plain text. And if that's the case, you want to make sure that that password doesn't get out and is used anywhere else. So make sure that's a password that you don't use anywhere else. Can you tell that during the day I actually work for a security company? So just check everything here and make sure that it's good. If it looks good, you can go ahead and click next. This grayed out button is back. So click next. And then it says QQQ. So that basically says, congratulations, you're done. Yay. So cool. And then you can hit finished. Now, when you go back to the website, the main page, I would recommend finding the Sailor Moon items, for example, there, and adding these items to your favorite list. That way, when they become available, which is on January, or which is on June 30th, you can go ahead and go to the website and just click into your favorites list and add everything to your cart and then check out, which is great. So I'm going to take the Let's see, moon, that says moon right there. So I'm gonna steal that and just search for it. There we go. Okay, so here are all of the different Sailor Moon items that you can purchase from the QPOT collection. When you sign into QPOT.jp slash shop, you'll notice that the Sailor Moon items are not on the main page quite yet. Their entire collection isn't quite yet on there. Um, they will have a few down here under new arrivals, but those aren't available to check out yet. So what I would recommend is just typing in moon or Sera moon up here in the search line and make sure that's in Katakana and then just browsing all of the different products. Everything is currently available on QPOT.jp even though they have not officially uh, started shipping. So I'm going to click into one of the items and then what I can do is click this little heart and that will add it to my favorites list. When you are ready to look at your favorites list, go to the little heart at the top, scroll down, and you can either delete the item and you can also click on the item here to enter it and then add it to your cart. So this way it's gonna be a lot easier to find everything that you want. Just go in, add it to your cart, and then you're good to go. Now, once you want to stick things in your cart, and since those aren't available yet, I'm gonna go find something else. See, this is really pretty. Okay, so here's this bumblebee right here. This is add to cart, this is favorite. So I'm gonna click on the cart. So here you will see the total price. This is the quantity that you have in your cart. This is how many points you'll receive. So they have a point system here where you can get like discounts if you use a certain amount and then the total. So if you have more than one in here, this total will go up. This is where you can delete the item if you want to. Otherwise, just move on down and this is where you can check out. So I can go ahead and click check out and then start the checkout process. Now I'm gonna go ahead and translate this to English so it's easier to understand on here. First off, we have the point balance. So up at the top, we see your point balance and if you can use any of them, you can click on it here and then choose how many points you wanna use. This will lower your cost quite a bit depending on how many points you have. So for example, I have zero points if I say I have 500 points, then that will knock off like $5 off my order, basically. <laughs> Scroll down and if it's a gift, you can mark off the amount on the invoice if you don't want it shown on the invoice. Otherwise, you can move on down and choose credit card or cash on delivery. You should choose credit card since you would be delivering this uh, to a deputy service and then have that deputy service ship it to you. Then you would select your address and this would be your deputy service. If it's not correct, you can choose, I believe it's this one to edit. Yeah, delivery address. Yeah, I think that's correct. And then scroll down to date to deliver. So this can be a specific date that you wanna get it delivered on. I'll just say the 6th. Hopefully it's a little less expensive. 
that's nice. They give me a whole bunch of different options. Cool. Now, if you don't care and if you just want it delivered whenever it's available, you can choose not specified. If you have any other options that you need to add on here, just enter them below and then click next. This is where you will verify everything on your page. So how many points you want to use, whether you're using credit card or not, how many points you're acquiring at this time, your address. And then if you scroll down, you will see any other information. Click next, and then you can enter your credit card details. Now, in this case, you can batch if you have over 200,000 yen in your purchase total. Uh, you can choose to separate that into two credit card payments. Otherwise, you will have to put them all on one lump sum and then enter your credit card details here. Choose your month and year, the cardholder's name, and then whether you want to register that card or not. Since I don't know if they're storing passwords in plain text, I wouldn't know if they were storing credit cards in plain text either, so I would not register my card. After that is done, you'll choose to complete. I believe it'll let you verify one more time. I'm not actually doing an order this time, so I'm not going to choose that. But once that's done, just keep on hitting the black button and eventually you will finish your order. When you finish your order, you will receive an email confirmation. And at that time, you should go to your deputy service and make sure that it got shipped. So that's it. I hope that you are as excited as I am to receive some items from Coupot. Okay, so that is it for ordering items off of the Coupot website. I hope it was super useful for you and I hope that you have lots of luck getting the items that you wanted to get. If you decided to go through a third party service, that's totally fine too. Of course, you will probably pay a commission for them to pick up the items from the Coupot uh, cafe or order them online and then have them delivered to their Japanese address. Hopefully you have tons of luck getting the items from the Coupot website that you really wanted to order. And I really hope that this walkthrough was hella useful and I will definitely review all of the Coupot items that I receive once they come in to my shipping address here in San Francisco. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe down below and comment what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. This is a brand new channel, but I'm super excited about it and I love doing reviews about Sailor Moon merchandise and showing you guys how you can order things online. So that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and happy birthday to Usagi, which is this weekend. Until next time, Janai!